Eli implodes. Hey everybody, Walty Wanders, buckle up, strap in. I got a hard hitting polo punch, no sugar coating it, no rainbows, no sunshine. I'm just gonna give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today. Buckle up, strap in, hold on to your hats and glasses as we blow the lid off the moto industry. This stuff is insane. Doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. There's Eli Tomac, my friends. Listen, he's stringing together some uh, bad races. Yeah, all of us are drinking the Eli Kool-Aid. This, <laughs> Oh, he'll be fine. He's the man. He's the goat. He's the diesel. He's a, He goes beast mode. Whatever. We've all heard it before. Eli, something's up with Eli. The second he signed his extension with Star Racing Yamaha, he's done nothing but have... A bad races by his own standard. I mean, he was the most... We practically were crowning him champion before the season even finished. And now he's given the red plate up to the last guy you want to give the red plate to. Cooper Webb. Cooper Webb will fight you to the bitter end, to the death, before he hands over that plate. He could have given it to Kickstart. You could have given it to Chase because you already have his number. We learned that last year. Chase, chase, chase. Different video. But man, dude, Eli Tomac better step it up this weekend and reestablish himself as the guy to beat because he's shown some chinks in his armor. Listen, it's one thing like in Anaheim too where he had that big get off. The track's tricky. You had to get off. This is gnarly stuff. Racing these bikes, like you're gonna have. It's not if you're gonna fall off a dirt bike. It's always a win. But this last race in Indy, he didn't fall off the bike, and he just was getting past Christian Craig, our boy Christian, who's been not even living up to what we would hope that he was going to live up to, coming off his 250 championship and of our, has already done select rounds on the 450 and previous years came out of nowhere and passed him in the last lap like what's that do for you if you're Eli and you're headed back to the truck your head's down man like you ain't even making I, I doubt he talked to any of the crew back at Star Racing he probably packed his OGO bag if that's what he's running and he headed off for the airport to get out of there he got passed by Christian Craig on the last lap. And that and that pass is what cost him. the. Re he couldn't hang on for one lap to hold on to the red plate. So this is a big weekend. And it's just, like I said, a little ironic. The second he signs that extension to keep racing, he's now not having very good races. Like that's not like you just paid millions of dollars more to keep Eli on the bike. And I'm sure I would be surprised if World Supercross stepped, or not World Supercross, World, World Supercross, cool. Can't wait to see those guys back next year with hopefully some more rounds, getting crazy like Supercross is supposed to be, probably not selling donuts at the concession stand. I can promise you that. Well, unless Jets maybe get something, unless Honda lets them go race it next year, which they won't. Make no mistake. This year will be something different. Well, his visa, you know, for some reason there's some problems again. Anyway. Whew, insane this stuff that we continue to have to unpackage if you're new please subscribe subscribe right away never been a more important time in moto history to get centered and surrounded with like-minded people iron will sharpen iron we're gonna sharpen some iron this year my friends we're not here to sugar in today's race report and we hear so and so is gonna go no not what we're doing here, my friends. We're here to blow the lid off it, stir the pot, whatever, call it what you want. The realities are we're not sugarcoating it. This is high flying, extreme, risk your life action sports. There's no way to make this sport uh, safe. I am sorry to be the one to tell you. I've got hardware in my body, I've got multiple crashes. I know most of you do as well. It's part of what you sign up for when you throw a leg over a bike. And that's why we dig this sport so much. And like I was going to say, Super Motocross, or whatever this series is now called, not out of it, not out of choice, out of necessity, because they had to come together because the money train had left. 
with the stimulus era and they actually said wow we guess we got to pay our bills and that whole crisis thing with the empty stadiums kind of drained the old pocket and the government doesn't want to throw us a bailout because we're not a bank we're just super cross Whew, insane right so the realities are this friends this is a big weekend for eli and yamaha is going to be pretty bummed if he continues to put in these types of performances because they basically paid him in advance for a championship. We had already given Eli the championship trophy. It looked like it was all his. And even though Cooper Webb started to make it interesting and Chase looked like he was still in the points on two and it was going to come down to a three rider battle at the end which it still could we're all hoping for because that would be awesome because we're ending it in the wrong city we're ending it in salt lake city utah vegas of, baby vegas no, you don't get that anymore sorry we're gonna end it all in the most unceremonious unexciting place on earth utah nothing against utah beautiful state great stadium loved racer but not where you have your after parties in the end of the season and celebrate the gnarly supercross gladiator sport in Utah. You don't celebrate it there. You celebrate it in Vegas. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, as a moto guy. I want to see you not only win on the track, off the track, understanding the waters we're swimming in now, shark infested and no more shark infested than for our boy, Eli Tomac, as he relinquishes... The red plate to our friend Cooper Webb, the last guy you want to relinquish it to. And listen, friends, contract year for Cooper Webb and Chase Sexton. And even if KTM and Honda come and offer to keep them on, which I don't think they are. I think the relationship is all but over. These guys still want to win because just like Kickstart Kenny, it increases your stock a value you can capitalize on a big who wants to pay me some kickstart kenny money to come ride their bike i just won the championship they still want to win they might not be stoked on delivering it to the team that basically is about to let them go or if the relationship is soured but that yeah, dollars will fix a lot of that like i've always said i'd rather be happy making less money than miserable making more so if i'm gonna be miserable i better be making a whole a lot of money and that's what they're doing now it's all about who can who's the highest bidder that's always been the name of the game no shock there but the realities are this friends Eli, if he doesn't turn it around, win this weekend, reestablish himself as the guy to be, this could be a bad deal for Yamaha and the bunch of this championship money that I'm pretty sure they bucked up and paid him pretty much in advance because it looked like he had it on lock. But don't be so sure as we blow the lid off it every step of the way because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Social media link in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there. And if you enjoyed this video, I know you're going to love the next video on your screen. As always, thank you for your time. Don't go over the bars today. We'll see you on the next video.